Okay, fight. Uh, percussion 101, we're gonna talk about the grip. There are several grips. There's a French grip, there's traditional grip, and there's matched. So we're gonna talk about match grip today. So from the very beginning, just put your arm at your side, relax, put a stick in your hand, hold it with your ring finger and pinky finger like this, bring it up in playing position, boom, thumb goes on the side, index finger wraps around for more control and up close we're not going to have any space in between the thumb and the index finger this is called your fulcrum this is the control center right here this is where um, we control the movement of the stick and also how we can play really intricate uh, rudiments so fingers back here they stay on the stick and uh, this is where it gets really scientific not too tight not too loose um, but they always remain in contact with the stick because the fingers back here control not only the movement of the stick, how, but the uh, the yaw, <laughs> the um, the lateral movement of the stick. So we only want it, the, the stroke to go up and down, perfectly up and down, not slicing. So how do we control that? By the fingers in the back. So this is called, again, match grip, also known as German grip. So, woo, back up a little bit. So what I teach my students is if you're right-handed, get the grip really good in your right hand, then teach the left hand to match. That's why it's called match grip, because the hands should match each other. If you're left-handed, get the grip really good on your left hand, and then teach your right hand, okay? So, yeah. And when um, playing position, the stick should form a 45 degree angle to your body, and also the thumb should never come down below the stick. I see that a lot. I see thumbs drop down below the stick. Let's keep the, the tip of the thumb basically, uh, rule of thumb, uh, <laughs> the tip of the thumb pointing at the bead. Keep it pointing at the bead and no space right in here. Um, and another little thing, if you have the, um, the Vic Fur sticks, um, I got these guys right here. Is that? Wow. Yeah, there we go right here um a little uh, rule of thumb huh? put your thumb flat on the on the t of the vic firth boom and that's pretty much a good point on where to hold the stick so we have the best leverage if we're holding too far up like on the v for instance we're too back heavy it's just it's uh, it's really hard to play that way if we pull hold all the way in the back way too front heavy so this is yeah to play and get rudiments like that it's it's just out of balance so let's keep a nice balance a little bit um a little bit on the front but a little bit less on the back so that gives us our best leverage and as far as um the wrist motion of the wrist so put your hands down at your side bring them up to playing position the the wrist shouldn't change at all from when it was down at the side totally relaxed to up here in playing position what we want to avoid is any um extraneous movement out ouch or hey or in so it should be should be completely relaxed from shoulders arms all the way down to um to your wrists and hands completely relaxed so when you look down it should look like a um uh, piece of pizza. Yeah. So sticks at a 45 degree angle, boom, right in front of you. So I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, just put them in the comments or, or contact me. So thanks.